we just want to create the envelopes in this instance. Again, my spacing at two feet. And this, these envelopes would also allow us to create custom trusses, and they also work with the Eagle Metal plugin. So I'm just going to, there they go. So I can see my truss envelopes here. So if I open up my Eagle Metal truss software, I'm going to export the information, these truss envelopes, out of Revit into the truss builder. So I'm going to generate my layout files. All the truss envelopes, I just need to put them in my demo folder here. So I exported three different envelope types. If I come into the software here, I can see the three different truss envelopes. If I double click this one, the envelope is imported in, the members are placed, you notice the span dimensions down here, and then I simply need to click this little button right here, and it's going to design my truss. I can see right now my material design has failed, so I simply need to unlock this truss, and I can increase the number of plies in this instance from from one to two or three, put up to three, and we'll run our truss design again, and we've passed. You'll also notice that the software is placing your nailer plates for you. Perfect. I can then perform this operation for my next truss. This guy passed the first time. And our third truss, perfect. Returning to the Revit environment, I can then import these created trusses, again, from that folder. Those are my three trusses I just designed. Say OK, and those trusses are now being generated right in my project. I think I went a little far with my span right here creation of my trusses, so I might have some clashing instances. But I really wanted you to see the functionality of the tool with, you know, with the ease at which you can use it, the speed to generate these trusses. Oh, there they go.